All right, so welcome back to our last portion of this graphic organizer. So this is about provoking decisions. So in this particular graphic organizer, you're going to take a line of dialogue or an incident and then think about what decision the character makes as a result of what is said or done. So, you know, in your real life, sometimes all it takes is for someone to say something to you and then you've made a decision about what it is you're going to do next. And so characters react the same way as real people do. It's just instead of it being a thought process, it's something that you have to read and then, of course, infer about. Um, so you have to take it to the, next, to the next level. So you have to put yourself in the character's shoes, which sometimes might make us uncomfortable because it's a little different for us. So in this particular case, I pulled a whole incident, so I ended up having to pull a whole paragraph. Um, so I pulled out where our narrator, of course, as you know, is planning on killing the old man with the vulture eye. And so every night he sneaks into his room and creaks open the door and just stares at him through a little shaft of light from a lantern that he lets up. And the shaft of light, of course, points just directly at this old man's dead eye. Now, of course, most of the time the old man's sleeping, so the eye, of course, is closed. But in this particular case, he wakes the old man up. So this is about that particular incident. So the old man was lying there not dreaming that I was at his door. Suddenly he moved in his bed. You may think that I became afraid, but no. The darkness in his room was thick and black. I knew he could not see the opening of the door. I continued to push the door slowly and softly. I put in my head. I put in my hand. With the covered light, suddenly the old man sat straight up in the bed and cried, Who's there? So this is the incident. So he finally has woken the old man up with his creepy, I'm going to watch him sleep thing he's got going on for that whole week. And so because the old man wakes up, we have to think, what does the character do as a result? So you can go and pull directly from the text and see what he did. So, I'll, of course, I have my story handy. So, in the next paragraph, it says, I stood quite still. For a whole hour, I did not move. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this because it's telling me exactly what he decided to do. There we go. Sorry, everybody. It's telling me exactly what he decided to do. And then this, of course, was in paragraph. I want to cite it. This, of course, was in paragraph 9. And I can say the narrator decided to stand perfectly still and wait for the right moment. So he... He just stood there and just waited for, a, for as long as he needed to until he felt like he had the right moment. And, of course, we know the right moment is the right moment to strike because he then, of course, smothers the old man with his bed sheets. All right. So your job is going to be the same thing. Pull out a line of dialogue. So pull out something that someone says, something the narrator or said to the narrator or something that happens to the narrator. And then tell me, based on what you pulled, what does he decide to do next? So we're only focusing on the narrator, not the old man, not the police officers. You're being asked to focus specifically on the narrator. This is because he is the one who tells the story, so we have a better understanding of why he chooses to do the things he does. Okay.